the void of course moon astrological pattern of no consequences created directed and presented by reverend dr dicky joe mullen in this video dr mullen will talk about the inconsequential association of a void course moon in one's birth chart the void of course moon times of no consequence have you ever tried and tried to do something and your get up and go has got up and went or things just don't come together? Do you have um, a desire to do something and have it come to nothing, to be of no consequence? Well, these are different situations where astrologically the void of course moon times can be very useful to understand or to employ. The void of course moon occurs every couple of days. Sometimes it's just for a few minutes and sometimes it's for two or almost three days on end. And V slash C is an abbreviation for the void of course times and they're widely available if they occur when the moon, which moves all around the zodiac every 28 days, is changing signs before um, another major aspect is made to the sun or a planet. Um, the major aspects are the conjunction, which would be less than 10 degrees, the sextile, 60 degrees, a square, 90 degrees, opposition, 180 degrees, or a trine, 120. Those are the energy patterns that allow the moon to combine with the other celestial patterns that get our life on earth going, that mark important events. The aspects, the angular distances between the planets are very, very significant. But sometimes there's a time period where there isn't one going on. The moon, the closest cosmic body to the earth, astrologically times the flow of daily events. When it completes a final major aspect to a planet, it floats, astrologically speaking, having little energy until it enters the next sign. This is the void time. It's a good time for dream interpretation, for exercise, meditation, and reflection. And the length varies, again, from two and a half to even three days to just a minute or two. The lunar cycle, 28 days long, shows 12 different void of course periods every 28 days. And these are very, very important to be aware of, to plan on, and to know. The void of course moon can be used to schedule an event that you want to have fall apart in your life. Suppose that you're being pressured to do something you have to answer and really don't want anything to come of it. That's a very good time to schedule it. I like to schedule dental um, checkups under a void of course moon and generally that works that they don't find anything which is really really good news. Sometimes if a workshop or class is all set up and ready to go, the void moon can work out really well because you don't want anything to happen concerning it. So a celebration of some type or a party can go well under a void of course moon. There are some signs that some astrologers say the void of course doesn't apply in. Pisces, Taurus and Cancer, sometimes Scorpio and Virgo. <coughs> so the void, of course, moon is a little bit of a mystery, but it still seems to be something of a dead zone in those signs. In your own birth chart, if you have planets in a late degree, the void, of course, moon might not be void in your own horoscope. There are 30 degrees in each zodiac sign and if the moon goes void say at 12 degrees of a sign but you happen to have your moon in a late degree you may still feel personal action. Say if someone wins a lottery under a void of course moon and if you've been buying your lottery tickets so that they aspect your own horoscope well and a big winner comes in, you'll say, well, that's a load of baloney. But you have to look at the source, consider it. However, the void, of course, is a very easy to use 
planning period, if you are looking at the moon and say an, an almanac or astrology calendar, working with the moon sign is a good way to get introduced to using astrology for prediction. People have been using it for generations. Most homes would just have a Bible and an almanac in for hundreds of years. And today, the void of course moon is an extra little step besides using the moon sign that can help you in using astrology to either avoid or to make things happen in tune with the celestial patterns around us. This is astrologer Dickie Jo Mullen in Orlando, Florida with thoughts about the void of course moon and how to use it.